All right. Babe, what are we doing this weekend? Going out the boat. We're going in a boat, so this is the first time I'm going to go with her parents on their sailing boat, and we're going to stay over. I'm kind of nervous because I like my sleep. Is it fun to sleep in a boat? Yeah. What's it's it? like camping. It's like camping. I like camping. So we're going to go first in this boat behind us right here. Hi, Shelly. Hi there. She, she's amazing. She's your aunt, right? So they're gonna take us on this fast boat to our sailing boat because our parents are already on their boat. We're gonna meet up with them, hang out all day, stay over, and all go home tomorrow. So it should be fun weekend, right? Let's do this. I love you. blow-up kayak we left our boat over there not too far and my lovely wife <laughs> <laughs> and I were exploring and you know teamwork makes the dream work this dream is not happening we are we don't know how to pedal together but we saw earlier a couple a little geese family swans swan family so cute, maybe like seven, eight babies. Um, yeah. This completely reminds me of my childhood, going in the lake, having fun, being a kid. And I think it's so important as an adult not to lose that. I think that often I get so cut up with business and life and and just remembering that it's so important to get away and spend some quality time with those that you love and explore and when you go back to work you can appreciate you know being on a computer again and working and achieving goals so I think I have to really always have to find what helps you recharge your batteries I think being outdoors is something that I really really enjoyed and luckily my wife is the same way right babe and you know now being pregnant and the kid is due in October once we have a baby it'll be a little bit harder but that's a goal we never want to stop doing things like this just want to go out there and explore and I think that you're pretty good like when we go on hikes and stuff so what I would challenge you as well you know yes achieving goals so important but at the same time you know do you find yourself the time to bond with those that you love because because we talk a lot about the hustle and grind and work 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 but then for what you know what's the end result you know when you're no longer here are they going to remember you as you know working so hard and making all this money achieving all these goals or are they going to remember the time that you spend with them so i think that's very very important to you know go after what you want but also remember to spend quality time with those that you love and care about this is it boats all tied up and just watch the sunset I know it's windy ready to experience my first night on the boat all right so this is our little spot which is where we're gonna sleep I think it's pretty cute I've been spotting this spot every time I came on the boat now I get to stay here hopefully I can fall asleep I'm sure I will. All right, so I made it first night on the boat. I'm hooked. It was awesome. It's almost better than, than camping. Cause you don't have to set up a tent. It feels like home. mother-in-law Debbie Good morning. she's the one who made us delicious food always take care of us why do you like sailing so much it's relaxing the wind in your hair feels good 
Just like the wind in the microphone right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not as enjoyable for the microphone, but it's enjoyable for us. Right? Oh, it's relaxing. No engine noise. Nothing. Yeah, that's why sa sailing is beautiful because you have to work for the result, right? You it do. It feels more satisfying because you did it. I'm the cocktail waitress, though. I have to say, my husband's a sailor. They're not supposed to know we're drinking on the boat. Oh, okay, sorry. No cocktails. <laughs> so yeah, she's amazing, always takes care of us and makes this experience so much better. And then the captain is right at sailboats. Obviously you can tell he's the captain. Steve. <laughs> captain Steve. Captain Steve. Why, why do you like boating so much? You've been boating for how many years? Oh, gee, 50 years. 50 years, so yeah. it's a family thing, right? Yeah. We yeah, started with your dad. I've been on it for, since I was five. Okay. What do you like sailing so much? The challenge of keeping the boat going in the wind. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. And it's a family thing. My wife. Yes. Right. What do you like sailing so much? Because you don't have to use power, gas power. It's all wind. It's environmentally safe. <laughs> You're such a Californian girl. Yeah. <laughs> such a such a Berkeley girl. <laughs> well, there are many reasons. The reason I've never been to sailing, grew up. I never, you know, when I grew up, I didn't have the opportunity to go in a boat. But the reason I like is family, bringing people together. I mean, I would enjoy anything. And I also like sailing because it's so different from our daily routine. It's, you know, you're away. I still check my phone, but not as much. And uh, yeah, I think just quality time and these memories that we bring together or create together, it will be forever. And I think that's so important that we all kind of pitch in, do something. And some people do more than others, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's been... And then, Jim. Uncle Jim. Uncle Jim, another sailor. Why do you like sailing so much? Uh, because you don't need anything. It's for free, the wind's free. Except the boat, you have to buy the boat though. You have to buy the boat. But once you get the boat, it's awesome. It's free. Nice. It's like flying. <laughs> so that's it. That's why we like sailing. And if you've never tried it, go out and give it a try. I'm just... Bye. I wait here for you to figure out just what life is to you now. You're out there just chasing tail. You know that I got just what you want, what you need. Now come home to me.